Hello everyone and welcome to Butterfly Dreams Crochet. My name is Jeannie and today I am doing a tutorial to show you how to make this beautiful, beautiful shawl. This was, uh, is a free pattern that I picked up from Hobby Lobby called the Shawl Good Shawl and this is what it looks like. It's one that you can grab off of the little zip tie that they have clipped with the zip tie. So, <clears throat> let me welcome all of my new subscribers to the channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I like to say that this is our channel. Um, I am so glad that you hit that subscribe button. I hope you turned your post notification bell on so you'll be notified when I release new videos. And to all of my returning butterflies, thank y'all so very much. And for the new ones, y'all are now part of my butterfly team. Thank y'all. So this started out as a, I was, found some free patterns so I could teach people how to read patterns that wanted to learn how to read patterns. And as we were going through it one night on my live, we were actually making it too like a crochet along. Well, we realized it had a lot of, I'm not going to say mistakes, it had a lot of hiccups in it, we'll say that. Bumps in the road, you may. So I told them, okay, let me work this out, let me make the shawl, and let me see what I can do with it. So I did, and it literally took me over two weeks to make it, because I kept having a frog rose back, and then figure this out, figure that out. The pattern simply is missing a lot of key elements to the pattern to make it, first of all, an easy pattern to follow. So sometimes when you're, when you're dealing with crochet patterns, you can leave out key parts of it and it takes, um, takes a while to figure it out. And I know a lot of people don't want to try to figure out a pattern if you purchase a pattern or even if it's a free pattern you really expect to be able to get that pattern and work it straight from the instructions that is given on the pattern one key thing that i found very strange is they have it labeled as an easy pattern now easy patterns are supposed to be to where even a beginner crocheter can make that pattern as long as they know how to read a pattern and what i mean by that is that beginner crocheter knows how to chain, knows how to do a single crochet, knows how to do a half double crochet, a double crochet, and so forth. Every pattern that I have ever seen, whether it be free or paid for, has always had an abbreviation. This pattern had no abbreviations. So if you are a new crocheter and a beginner crocheter, you may not have learned all of the um, verbiage of crochet yet especially with the abbreviations so that was a you know one thing that really stuck out at me is it did not have an abbreviation well I have created that abbreviation part in the part that I've done um, and it did not let you know at the end of every row how many stitches you should have at the end of every row now what I did find is this right here too when you work in on your chain five spaces, which is row uh, six, you get to a point where it doesn't line up exactly the way it does back here at the beginning. Like here, it fell right into the chain two space. Up here, it fell right into the chain two space. But up here, it did not. And the pattern does not tell you what to do when that happens. So, that's what I have figured out for y'all. And it happens throughout the pattern. As well as with your color changing. It does not tell you. For the most part. Here, you're only doing your two doubles like the pattern says. And it works out perfect. When you get to your corner space. 
you have the color that you're continuing to work with in that corner but then when you get here to your where you're changing your colors you have to do two double crochets in the first stitch in order for it to work out because when you get here you want to do one double crochet in the color that you're going to be cutting but you want those two in the inside to be in the color that you're going to continue with so it doesn't tell you all of that and then on the next color change which would be here which I've started on this one and that part is in the tutorial you have to do three double crochets in the same color before you start changing to every two doubles so again those are the little specifics that was not included in the pattern so I hope that makes it clear as to why I have done this I did not write this pattern this is a free pattern from Hobby Lobby a link to the original pattern will be in the description box down below and a link to the one that I am redoing with all of the details of what you need to do on those specific rows that needed that little extra love and care to it I will say so I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial um, please let me know in the comments down below what you think and please if you make this shawl email me pictures of it I would love to see the color choices that you chose and until next time, hope you enjoy this tutorial. Thank y'all so much for watching. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. I will talk to y'all later. Enjoy this tutorial. Okay, so what you're going to need for this tutorial will be a pair of scissors, a crochet hook, now I will be using a 6.5 millimeter because I want mine to have some nice straight. The one that I showed in the beginning of the video, um, it was made um, with 6.5 millimeter. Now you can use any size hook that you want to. You can use any size weight yarn that you want to. You just won't get the same measurements. You'll need a darning needle for weaving in your ends. I do recommend a row counter. Um, and you're going to need some stitch markers. Now you may not need this many stitch markers. But I use quite a few um, stitch markers on mine. So <clears throat> the yarn that I will be using is a medium weight number 4. I will be using Premier Basics on 3 of them. My first color will be linen that you see here. And it's a medium four worsted, 359 yards, 7 ounces, 200 grams. Now you will only need one skein of this color. The second color that I will be changing over to will be ember. And it's also in Premier Basics. Now you will need two skeins of this. And your third color in mine will be peacock and you will need two skeins of this one as well now for what I am referring to as my contrast color I will be using Karen one pound in the color sunflower you will not need a whole lot of that so to get started you can start out with a chain four join with a slip stitch to the first chain and work four double crochets chain two four double crochets within that circle now I don't do the chain I do the magic circle and this is how I do my magic circle just like this and then I tighten that chain one up now we're going to put four double crochets chain two, 
four double crochets into this circle. So we're going to chain two and we're going to work our second double crochet. That chain two does count as a double crochet here and throughout the pattern. Now I do recommend that you put a stitch marker right here on this second chain because we will work back into it. Let's continue with our double crochet. So this will be three. And this is four. Now we're going to chain two, one, two. And we're going to work four double crochets right back into that ring. So one, two, three, and four. Now I'm going to untwist my tail and I am going to pull it just like that. Now we're going to chain two, one, two, and turn. Now if you, whichever way you turn your work, make sure you turn that same way every time so your edges stay straight. And I always turn toward the palm of my hand. Now we're going to work one double crochet into that very same stitch. Remember that chain two counts as a stitch. And I'm going to put a stitch marker in the top of that second chain, which is right here. because I will work back into that stitch. Now we're going to work one double crochet in every stitch across. So in the next double crochet, work one double crochet. In the next double crochet, work a double crochet. And in the next double crochet, work a double crochet. And in this chain two space right here, we're going to work two doubles, chain two, two doubles. Insert into that chain two space, pull up a loop, route, pull through two, route, pull through two. That is our first double crochet. We're going to do that one more time for our second double crochet. And now we're going to chain two. We're going right back into that same chain two space and we're going to work two double crochets. Then we're going to go into the top of the next double crochet and we're going to work a double crochet. In the top of the next double crochet and we're going to work another double crochet. We're going to work a double crochet in the top of this double crochet. And then we're going to remove this stitch marker. And in the top of that chain two, we're going to work two double crochets. And that's why I say it might be helpful to put a stitch marker in that chain two space so you don't forget to work into it because it can hide itself in the other stitch. Okay, so now what we're going to do is chain two and at the end of row two you should have 14 double crochets. Remember our chain two counts as one, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chain two, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we will chain two and turn and we're simply going to repeat row two. So for rows three, four, and five, and I'm on row three, 
and I'll let that let me open it up and I'll let that sit right well it's not gonna sit is it well we're on row three and for rows three four and five we will repeat row two so we're going to chain two and you can go ahead and put your stitch marker in that chain two space and we're going to work one double crochet right in that same stitch at the base of that chain two. One double crochet in the top of every double crochet until we get to our chain two space. just like that now you're going to work chain uh, two double crochets chain two two double crochets into the chain two space so chain two and work two double crochets in that chain two space so you have two doubles chain two two doubles in the chain two space now you're going to continue working one double crochet in the top of every double crochet and when you get here, you will work two double crochets in the end. Go ahead and do that, and I'll meet you when I get here to the stitch marker. Okay, I made it to my stitch marker, and now I'm going to remove it. And I'm going to work two double crochets in the top of that chain two. just like that and at the end of this row you will have 20 double crochets 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 you will have 20 double crochets and one chain two space what you have on one side you should have the same amount of stitches on the other side so now we're going to go to row four and row four is just going to be a repeat of row two and three. So chain two, put your stitch marker back in that chain two space, turn your work. Work one double crochet in that very first stitch at the base of that chain two. And now we're going to work one double crochet to our chain two space. one double crochet in the top of every double crochet until you get to your chain two space now I made it to my chain two space I'm going to work two double crochets chain two and two double crochets now I'm going to continue working one double crochet in the top of every double crochet till I get to my stitch marker and I'll meet y'all when I get to the stitch marker all right so I'm gonna remove my stitch marker And I am going to work my two double crochets in the top of that second chain. And at the end of row four, you should have 26 double crochets. So you should have 13 up this side and 13 down this side. Let's count them and make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You're going to repeat row 5 the same way we just did. You're going to chain 2. Place that stitch marker back in that chain 2 space, uh, chain. 
turn your work and work one double crochet in that very first stitch and what you're going to do is work one double crochet in the top of every double crochet to your chain two space then you will work two doubles chain two two doubles and then you will work one double crochet down to your stitch marker and I'll meet y'all when I get to the stitch marker and this will be row five okay so I made it to my stitch marker and I'm going to remove that and I'm going to work my two double crochets in the top of that chain two and at the end of row five you should have a total of 32 double crochets that will be 16 up one side and 16 down the other side so count and make sure that you have those 16 double crochets so one two and I got 32 and this is what it should start this is what yours should start looking like and that was row five now row six <clears throat> is going to be a row that is repeated throughout this pattern row two six seven eight and nine and they say ten but ten is a repeat of row two so for row six we're going to chain one and turn and we're going to work one single crochet in this very first stitch right here we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to skip one, two, three, and in that fourth double crochet, we're going to work a single crochet. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip one, two, three and single crochet into that next double crochet chain five one two three four five skip one two three and single crochet into that very next double crochet you should have three double crochets left we're going to chain five one two three four five and we're going to put one single crochet into that chain two space chain two and work one single crochet into that chain two space and I do recommend that you put a stitch marker right there since it closes that chain two space up so you know this is where we're going to be working into now we're going to chain five one two three four five we're going to skip one two three and in that fourth double crochet work a single crochet chain five skip three and in that fourth double work a single crochet chain five skip three and in that fourth double work a single crochet you got four double crochets left one two three and your chain two we're going to chain five skip those three and work our single in that chain two so one two three four five I'm going to remove my stitch marker and I'm going to work a single crochet in the top of that chain second chain and that completes row six and you should have one two three four chain five spaces on each side for a total of eight chain five spaces now row seven is going to be it's an easy one as well 
we're going to chain two okay and we're going to work four double crochets chain two four double crochets in every chain five space till we get to our corner space so chain two and turn and go right into that chain five space and work four double crochets chain two and four double crochets and this is our chevron row then we're going to go right into the next chain five space and we're going to repeat that four double crochets this is three and four chain two and four double crochets back into that same chain five space go to the next chain five space and repeat that four double crochets chain two four double crochets and you're going to do that in every chain space chain five space until you get to your corner and I'm moving over to my last chain five space and I'm going to work four double crochets chain two and four double crochets And that's what it should look like right now and in your chain two space you're going to work two double crochet I'm gonna take my stitch marker out and I'm gonna put it in my chain two right here at the beginning of the row but we're going to work two double crochets chain two and two double crochets we're going to skip right over to that chain five space and we're going to work four doubles chain two four doubles and we're going to do that till we get to our very last chain five space here and I will meet y'all after I have worked my four doubles chain two four doubles in my last space and I'll meet you at the end okay so I made it to the end and I'm gonna work one double crochet in the top of that single crochet just like that now for row 8 we're going to chain 2 and at the end before we chain our 2 at the end of this row you should have one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, four double crochet, chain two, four double crochet groups. And you will have two doubles, chain two, two doubles. How many double crochets you have at the end of this row does not matter. What matters is you got four double crochets, chain two, four double crochets in every chain five space and that will be the same way with every row after you do the chain five spaces so for row eight we're going to chain two turn we're going to work one double crochet right back into that same stitch I'm going to put my stitch marker in that chain two now we're going to chain three one two three we're going to skip to the chain two space 
So skip all of these double crochets and go right into that chain two space and work a single crochet. Chain four. One, two, three, four. You're going to skip all of this and go right into that chain two space and work a single crochet. Chain four. Two, three, four. Go into the next chain two space and work a single crochet. Chain four. Go into the next chain two space and work a single crochet. Now, this is our last chain two space before our corner. We're going to chain three. So one, two, three. Work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into your chain two space. I'm going to put a stitch marker to mark my point or corner. So you have chain three at the beginning, chain four, chain four, chain four, chain three. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, three, single crochet into that next chain two space, chain four, one, two, three, four, go into the next chain two space and work a single, one, two, three, four, go into the next chain two space and work a single. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Go into the next chain two space and work a single. That's our last chain two space. So we're going to chain three, one, two, three. Remove your stitch marker and work two double crochets in the top of that chain two. one and two and I know it's looking a little wonky but trust me it's gonna work out and it's gonna lay down flat it's wanting to curl up right now but what these chains are doing is making your chevrons poke out like that and it will all lay flat <clears throat> at the end of row eight you should have one, two, three, four chain three spaces. And you should have one, two, three, four, five, six chain four spaces. All right, for row nine, we're going to chain two, turn our work. We're going to work one double crochet right back into the base of that chain two stitch. And I'm going to put my stitch marker in that chain two. We're going to work one double crochet into that next double crochet. We're going to work three double crochets into our chain three space. So one, two, and three. We're going to work one double crochet into this single crochet. We're going to work four double crochets in our chain four space. One, two, three, four. We're going to work one double crochet into that single crochet. Four double crochets into the chain four space. One, two, three, Four, one double crochet into the top of that single crochet. We're going to work four double crochets into our chain four space. One double crochet into the top of that single crochet. And we're going to work three doubles in our chain three space. One, two, and three. 
one double crochet into that next single crochet remove your stitch marker and we're going to work two double crochets chain two and two double crochets in our chain two space we're going to work one double crochet into the next single crochet and three double crochets into the chain three space one double crochet on top of the next single crochet and now we're going to work four double crochets in our chain four spaces and double crochet on top of that single four doubles in that chain four space double on top of that single and four doubles in the next chain four space single into the next single and now we're going to work three double crochets into the chain three space one double crochet on top of that next double crochet remove our stitch marker and we're going to work two doubles in the top of that second chain one and two see it's laying out now and that's what it should look like Alright, so we have completed row 9, and at the end of row 9, you should have a total of 56 double crochets. For row 10, it's just a simple repeat of row 2. So we're going to chain 2. I'm going to put my stitch marker through that second chain. Turn my work. I'm going to work one double crochet in that very first double crochet at the base of that chain two and we're going to work one double crochet in top of every double crochet and when you get to your chain two space you're going to work two double crochets chain two two double crochets and then one double crochet in the top of every double crochet back to your stitch marker and I'll meet y'all when we get back to the stitch marker Okay, I made it to the end of my row. I removed my stitch marker and I'm going to work two double crochets in the top of that second chain. And at the end of this row, which is row 10, you will have 62 double crochets, which is going to give you 31 up this side and 31 up this side. For row 11, we are going to be changing out the colors. So I'm going to get my second color set up and then I'll meet y'all back and we'll start row 11. Okay, for row 11, I'm going to chain 2 and turn. Now row 11 is basically a repeat of row 2, but we're changing colors. So what we're going to do is work one double crochet back into that very first stitch, but we're not going to complete it. So you're going to wrap your yarn around your hook and pull through your first two loops. I'm going to put my stitch marker in my chain two space, in my chain two. There we go. Now I am simply going to take my contrast color, lay it on my hook, and complete my double crochet. I'm going to pull that just a little bit. I'm going to lay that yellow down with it. Pull that snug a little bit. And now we're going to work two double crochets with our contrast color. And on your second double crochet, you will only work half of your double crochet. 
Now this is going to stay to the back of my work. I'm going to bring my linen up and finish that second double crochet. Then I'm going to carry my yellow along with me and I'm going to work one full double crochet and then one half of a double. I'm going to grab my yellow and finish that double crochet off and we will do that all the way to our chain 2 space and when you get to your chain 2 space you should end your last two doubles right here should be in yellow and I will meet y'all when I get here so continue working two doubles in your color that you're using here and then two in your contrast color and I'll meet you when we get to our corner okay so I made it here to my corner now what you're going to do is I went on and changed over to my linen color you're going to carry that yellow or whatever your contrast color is with you and you're going to work two double crochets chain two two double crochets in that chain two space but don't finish that last one off and pick back up with your yellow and now work two double crochets in the yellow halfway on the second one and continue doing that color change all the way to the end until you get to your stitch marker and I'll meet y'all when I get to my stitch marker okay when you work your last two linen right before your stitch marker you are gonna have three stitches left you're gonna work one in the contrast color one in the contrast color then you're going to switch back over to your other color and do two where your stitch marker is at I just didn't want you to get there and think oh I don't have enough stitches because you do and then remove your stitch marker and work your last two doubles in that chain two space and that is the end of the row and now you can cut your yellow leave your tail long enough to weave in now you should have 68 double crochets 34 up each side let's count Two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty two, twenty four, twenty six, twenty eight, thirty, thirty two, thirty four. And I like to come back down and count the other side to make sure two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty two, twenty four, twenty six, twenty eight, thirty, thirty two, thirty four. For rows twelve and thirteen, it's going to be a repeat of row two. So we're going to chain two and turn, put that stitch marker in that chain two. We're going to work one double crochet in that very first stitch, one double crochet in every double crochet until you get to your chain two space and you will work chain uh, two doubles chain two two doubles in your chain two space and at the end of row 12 you will have 74 double crochets continue doing this for row 12 and 13 and I will meet you when I get to the end of 13 and at the end of row 13 you will have a total of 80 double crochets so continue just working one double crochet in the top of every double crochet 
remember to put two in that very first stitch at the beginning two in that top of that second chain of your turning chain and two double crochets chain two two double crochets into your corner space and I'll meet y'all at the end of row 13 okay I have finished row 13 I have 80 double crochets at the end of row 13 for rows 14 we're going to repeat row 6 for row 15 we're going to repeat row 7 for 16 we're going to repeat row 8 for 17 we're going to repeat row 9 and for 18 we're going to it says you're going to repeat row 10 which is really row 2 so we're going to chain 1 and turn and we're going to work one single crochet into that very first stitch chain 5 1 2 3 4 5 we're going to skip three single crochet into the next double crochet chain five skip three and single crochet into the next double crochet chain five skip three and single crochet into the next double crochet and you're going to repeat that until you get to your chain 2 space and I'll meet you when I get to my chain 2 space okay I made it to my I worked one single crochet in that next double crochet I have three double crochets left I'm going to chain five I'm going to work one single crochet chain two and I'm going to place a stitch marker in that chain 2 space and work a single crochet into that same in that chain two space chain five one two three four whoops five skip three single crochet into the next double crochet and I'm going to simply repeat chain and five skip three single in the next double crochet until I get back to my stitch marker on the other end and I'll meet y'all at the end okay I've worked my last chain five and single crochet I have one two three four stitches left I'm gonna remove my stitch marker chain five one two three four five and I'm going to work a single crochet in the top of that ch second chain of our chain two and that completes row 14 and you should have a total of 20 chain 5 spaces 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 on each side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so for row 15 it's a repeat of row 7 we're going to chain 2 place my stitch marker in that chain 2 and turn now we're going to put 4 double crochets chain 2 4 double crochets in every chain 5 space so let's work 1 two three four chain two and one two three four and in the next chain phase five space repeat that whole process so two three four chain two and one two three and four and you're going to repeat that until you get to your chain two space and when you get here to your chain two space you will work two doubles chain two two doubles 
and then you will continue doing the four doubles chain two four doubles in every chain five space until you get to the end and you will work a double crochet in the top of that single crochet continue working this round and I will meet y'all when I get to the end of my row and at the end of this row you will have 20 groups of four double crochets chain two four double crochets at the end of row um, 15 and I'll meet y'all at the end of it all right so I made it to the end of row 15 so row 16 is a repeat of row 8 and we're going to chain 2 one and two go on put your stitch marker in that chain two y'all should know my routine by now <laughs> turn your work and we're going to work one double crochet into that same stitch then we're going to chain three we're going to skip those four doubles and we're going to work one single crochet one two three four single crochet into the next chain two space one two three four single crochet into the next chain two space two three four single crochet into the next chain two space you're going to repeat that until you get to your last chain two space before your chain two corner put a stitch marker in there so you know work a single crochet in this one and then you're going to chain three and work a single chain two single in this chain two corner space then you're going to chain three and work a single then you will go back to your chain fours Continue working chain four and single in every chain two space until you get to your corner, and I'll meet you at the corner. All right, so I worked my single crochet in my last chain two space before my corner. I'm gonna chain three, and I'm going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. I'm going to move my stitch marker up. To the chain two space I'm going to chain three work a single crochet into that first chain two space one two three four single crochet one two three four chain two space single crochet repeat that till you get to your last chain two space right here work your single crochet chain three and then work a single crochet in your chain top of your chain two now meet y'all at the end now at the end of row 16 you will have 18 chain four spaces and four chain three spaces <clears throat> remember you have a chain three at the beginning and end of the row and at before and after your corner space right here so for row 17 We're going to repeat row 9. We are going to chain 2. Put my stitch marker back in there. And turn our work. Now we're going to work a double crochet in that same stitch. And we're going to work 3 double crochets into the next chain 3 space one double crochet in the single crochet four double crochets in the chain four space one double crochet in the single crochet and four double crochets so you're going to work four double crochets in every chain four space and you will work one double crochet in every single crochet and you will work three double crochets in your chain three spaces 
So four doubles in every chain four space, one double crochet in every single crochet, and three double crochets in every chain three space, before and after your corner, and at the end of your row. And we already did it at the beginning. So continue working that until you get to your corner space, and you will work two doubles, chain two, two doubles. Then you will work three, then double, four, double, four, double, four doubles, double, four doubles, double. And I'll meet y'all at the end. Just wanted to pop in real quick and remind you when you get to your chain two corner space, you're going to work one double crochet in that single crochet. And then you're going to remove your stitch marker and work two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. Then you're going to work a double crochet in that single crochet, and then you'll do your three doubles and single crochet into the next one, and then you're going to continue working one of uh, four double crochets in every chain four space. And when you get here, you'll work three doubles, and then you'll work two double crochets where your stitch marker is placed. So continue putting four double crochets in every chain four space. <coughs> and work one sing uh, double crochet in top of every single crochet. And I'll meet you at the end. Alright, so I worked my three double crochets there. I'm going to work my next double crochet on top of that double crochet, remove my stitch marker, and I am going to work three doubles, two doubles in that very last, in that chain two on my turning chain, just like that. <coughs> And you should have a total of 116 double crochets at the end of row 17, which is a repeat of row 9. For row 18, we're simply going to repeat row 2. So we're going to chain 2, place my stitch marker in the top of that chain 2, and turn. Now we're going to work one double crochet right back into that very first stitch. And we're simply going to work one double crochet in every double crochet to your chain two space. And you will work two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets in your chain two space. And then you will simply work one double crochet back down the other side in every double crochet and you'll put two when you get back to your stitch marker and at the end of this row you will have 122 double crochets which will be 61 on each side and I'll meet y'all when we get there all right so I made it here to my last double crochet of row 18 once we complete this one, we will have 122 double crochets total. But we're not going to finish our second double crochet off. We're going to pull through those first two loops. And we're going to introduce our second color, which in my case is the ember. So we're getting ready to switch colors. So we're going to lay that across there and pull that through. Just kind of pull that snug. Then we're going to chain two and bring your beige up with you and just lay it across. And right in that same stitch, we're going to work one double crochet. And just kind of pull those two tails a little bit together. And in that second double crochet, we're not going to finish it. We're going to bring our, our color that we're getting ready to cut off from and finish it. 
then we're going to work a double crochet partial double in the next stitch make sure when you grab your next color that you're grabbing your working yarn and not your tail and finish it start a double and finish it <laughs> we're changing our double crochet with every um, stitch now so continue that till you get to your chain two space and when we get there I will meet back with y'all and I'll let you know what we do in our chain two space alright so I've worked at my last double crochet before my corner and what we're going to do now is we're going to work one double crochet in our color that we're fixing to get ready to cut at the end of the row one double crochet in our new color chain two one double crochet in the new color and one double crochet in the old color and now you will just complete the one in one pattern all the way to the end and when you get to the end you should be left with your last stitch which will be where your stitch marker is and you will work two double crochets with your new color and you will cut your other uh, old color off I'll meet y'all okay so I made it here to the end I got two stitches left I'm gonna work my last double crochet partial double crochet with my color that I'm fixing to get ready to cut I'm gonna remove that stitch marker and I am going to place two double crochets with my new color in that chain two just like that now you can cut your old color off leave a tail long enough to weave in you're done with it now for row 20 and 21 we're simply going to repeat row 2 and at the end of row 19 you should have 128 double crochets so we're going to chain 2 and turn and we're going to work one double crochet back in that same stitch and then one double crochet in every double crochet all the way to our chain two space which is our corner space and we will work two doubles chain two and two doubles and you'll do that for two rows the same way and at the end of row 20 you will have 134 double crochets and at the end of row 21 you will have 140 double crochets go ahead and do those two rows and I'll meet y'all when I get to the end of row 21 alright so I made it to the end of row 21 and at the end of row 21 you should have 140 double crochets that's going to be 70 at one side and 70 down the other now before we start row 22 I just want to show you row 22 is going to be a repeat of row 6 where we single crochet in the first stitch chain 5 skip 3 single in the next but when you do your last one here before your chain 2 space you will have 5 double crochets left and I'll show you what we're going to do to fix that so I will meet y'all. Well, I'm not going to meet y'all. I got to show y'all, right? <laughs> so we're going to chain one and turn. And we're going to work one single crochet right there in that very first stitch. Chain five. Now we're going to skip one, two, three. And we're going to single into the next stitch. Chain five. we're going to skip three one two three 
and we're going to work a single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that until you get to right before your chain two space and you should have five double crochets left and I will meet y'all when I get to my stitch marker. Alright, so I made it to my stitch marker and I worked my last, my single crochet. Now we're going to chain five. And we're going to skip three and we're going to single into the next one. But we have one double crochet left, so we're going to single in it as well. Now we're going to single crochet in our chain two space, chain two, single crochet in the chain two space. And I'm going to place my stitch marker there in my chain 2 space just so I know that it's there. Now we're going to single crochet in the next double. Single crochet in the next double. Now we will chain 5. And then we will skip 3. And single crochet. So basically what we've done is done the same thing here that we did over here. Now we're going to continue with our chain 5, skip 3 until the end of our row and I will meet y'all when I get to the end and I'll work the last chain five and single crochet with you all so I'll see y'all toward the end alright so I've worked my last single crochet and I have one two three four stitches left so I'm going to chain five remove my stitch marker and we are going to work one single crochet in that top of that chain two and that completes row 23 uh, 22 which is a repeat of row six and you should have 34 chain five spaces and please take the time to count them and make sure that you do so we have one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 17 would be 34. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So our numbers add up correctly. <clears throat> so for row 23, it's a repeat of row 7. And row 7 is we're going to chain 2 and turn. And put your stitch marker back into that chain 2. And turn your work. Now we're going to work 4 double crochets, chain 2, and 4 double crochets into every chain 5 space. until you get to your corner space and you will work two doubles chain two two doubles in your corner space so continue putting four double crochets chain two four double crochets in every chain five space and I'll meet you at the corner okay so I made it to my corner space and I'm going to remove my stitch marker and I'm going right into that chain two space and I'm going to work two double crochets chain two and two double crochets and then we're going to skip those next two singles and go right into that chain five space and work our four doubles chain two four doubles and you will continue that all the way to the end and when you get to your last single crochet of the row you will work one double crochet at the end and I will meet y'all when I get to the end of row 23 all right so I've worked my last four doubles chain two four doubles and I am going to work a double crochet in that very last stitch and that completes row 23 which is a repeat of row seven now we're moving on to row 24 which is a repeat of row eight and we're going to chain two and we're going to turn our work and put my stitch marker there 
so I don't forget to work into there because it can get hidden and now we're going to work one double crochet in that same stitch chain three single crochet in that chain two space chain four skip all these doubles and work into the chain two space a single crochet chain four and work a single crochet into the top of the next chain two space chain four single crochet in the next chain two space and you will repeat that until you get to your point right here and then you will work one single chain two and one single crochet into the, your chain two space so continue that to your chain two space and I'll meet you when I get to the chain two space alright so I made it here to my last chain two space before my corner chain two and we're going to chain three and we're going to work one single crochet into our chain two space chain two and work one single crochet into that chain two space chain three skip over to your next chain two space and work a single crochet chain four skip to the next chain two space and single crochet chain four and single crochet in the next chain two space you're going to do that until you get to your last chain two space so from here to this one you'll chain four when you get here to your last chain two space you're only going to chain three and then put two double crochets in the top of that second chain and I'll meet y'all when I get right here at the very last chain two space alright so now I'm going to chain three and I'm going to remove my stitch marker and I'm going to work two double crochets in the top of that chain two one and two and that completes row 24 and you should have four chain three spaces one at the beginning of your row one at the end of your row and you should have one before your chain two space and one after your chain two space and I'm just going to move this up and then you will have 32 chain four spaces so now we're going to move on to row 25 which is a repeat of row 9 and we are going to if I can find my hook chain 2 1 2 and we're going to work one double crochet back into the base of that chain 2 space just like that one double crochet into the next double crochet we're going to work three double crochets into our chain three space we're going to work one double crochet on top of that single crochet and then four double crochets into our chain four space double crochet in the next single crochet four doubles in our chain four space double crochet on top of that single crochet and you will repeat that just like that until you get here to your chain three space and then you're going to put three doubles and then you're going to double crochet into that single crochet of our in our turning chain in our chain two then you'll work two doubles chain two two doubles into that chain two space then you'll double there and you'll work three doubles in your next chain three space double in the next single and then chain uh, four doubles in each chain four space until you get to your last chain three space don't forget to work your double crochet in the top of every single crochet I'll meet y'all at the corner okay so I've worked my three double crochets in my chain three space before my chain two space here 
I'm going to work one double crochet in that single crochet, two double crochets in that chain two space, chain two, two double crochets in that same chain two space. I'm going to double crochet in the top of that single crochet, work three doubles in my chain three space, double in top of that single crochet, and work four doubles in every chain four space and one double in the top of every single crochet until I get to my next third uh, chain three space at the end and I'll work three doubles one double and two doubles and I'll meet y'all when I get to the stitch marker Okay, so I made it to my last, I worked my three doubles in my last chain three space. Now we're going to work one double crochet on top of that, uh, that next double crochet. Remove our stitch marker and we're going to put two doubles in the top of that second chain. And this will complete row 25. And you should have 186 double crochets at the end of row 25. We're going to chain 2. And for row 26, it's a repeat of row 2. And once you chain 2, turn. And you're going to work 1 double crochet in that same stitch. And 1 double crochet in every stitch to your chain 2 space. And you will work two doubles, chain two, two doubles until you get, and then you'll work one double crochet back down the other side. And at the end of row 26, you should have 192 double crochets. And I'll meet y'all when I get to the end of my row. And then I'll discuss the rest of the pattern with y'all because it's basically going to be a continuation of just repeats. And I'll give you every Thing that you need for the rest of the rows on how much how many double crochets or chain three spaces chain four spaces chain five spaces that you should have so I'll see y'all at the end of this row all right so I finished row 26 and you should have 192 double crochets at the end of row 26 for row 35 mm -mm. Lord where am I <laughs> I done lost my train of thought. Okay, row 27. We're going to chain two and turn. And we're going to work one double crochet into that first stitch. And we're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch. But we're not going to complete it. Now I am going to introduce my contrast color, which is the yellow so pretty oh it is so pretty and I'm going to work two double crochets in the yellow but I am not going to finish that second one off I'm gonna give that just a little tug to kind of bring them stitches close together I'll keep my yellow to the back and my ember to the front and I will continue working two double crochets alternating my colors until I get to my corner space and then I will continue with the color of the ember in my corner space and then I'll continue down the other side just like I'm doing here and then um, I'll continue working on it until I'm completely done with it and this will be my second one that I will have made and I really love these colors together so continue working 27 and then I will have everything written out for y'all to where you will be able to make this um, beautiful shawl and the only thing I've done is made the original pattern to where you can actually make it and know what you need to do for each row
because it's not that clear. And I'm going to switch over to my other camera and then I'll talk to y'all a little bit more. Okay, I have completed the tutorial up to row 27. So I'm going to give you the rundown for the rest of the rows of 28 through 45 right quick. I really hope y'all enjoy this. And if y'all make it, please send me pictures by my email, which will be in the description box. All this information will be in the typed up portion of the pattern that I'm going to be doing. And I also have a link for the original pattern as well. So for rows 28 and 29, you're simply going to repeat row 2. At the end of row 28, you will have 204 double crochets. At the end of row 29, you will have 210 double crochets. For rows 30 through 34, you're going to repeat 6 through 10, which is row 10 is row 2. So for row 30, you will end up with 52 chain 5 spaces. For row 31, you will end up with 52 4 double crochet chain 2 4 double crochet groups, which is where we're forming the chevron uh, stitch. For row 32, you will end up with 50 chain 4 spaces and 4 chain 3 spaces. For row 33, you will end up with 276 double crochets. And for row 34, you will have 282 double crochets. Now, when you end row 34, do not complete your last double crochet of that row. 35 is going to be a color changing row. And you will change over to your very last color, which I have worked mine up to that point while editing the video. And what you're going to do is you're going to connect your new color to your last double crochet of the previous row and you're going to chain two and turn and you're going to work one double crochet back into that same stitch and then when you get to your next double crochet you're not going to finish it off and then you're you'll pick back up with your other color and after that point you're going to be changing colors every row just like we did on row let me tell you 11 so if you need to but the main thing is you working the right amount of double crochets here at the beginning so for row 35 you're going to work a total of three double crochets in the new color that you're introducing. Your chain two, one double crochet back into that same stitch and then the next double crochet but you will not finish it off and you should have that same thing at the end. Now when you get to the corner space on that row you will just simply work two double crochets in your new color in the chain two space in the corner and then complete the rest of it with one just like that for row 36 you're going to repeat row two and you will have 294 double crochets for row 37 repeat row two and you will have 300 double crochets then for rows 38 through 42. Now if you're looking at the original pattern, that will say rows 38 through 43. That is misprinted. If we are repeating rows 6 through 10, then you will only have 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 5 rows. And the pattern says, repeat rows 6 through 10 and turn. So, for row 37, 38, you will have 74 chain 5 spaces. 
for row 39 you will have 37 four double crochet chain two four double crochet groups for row 40 you will have 70 chain four spaces and four chain three spaces for row 41 you will have 386 double crochets for row 42 you will have 392 double crochets for row 43, you will have 398. And for row 44, that is also a color change row where you go back to your contrast color. And you will do every two double crochets on that one. And you will start with only two double crochets of your main color. So you'll chain two and work one double crochet back in that same stitch, not finish it, and then join your contrast color and work the double crochets in every twos, every two double crochets, and then you'll change color. And at the end of that row, you will have 404 double crochets, and that will have you working your two doubles, chain two, two doubles in the corner space with the main color. And then row 45, the final row, you will simply repeat row 2, which will be 410 double crochets at the end of that row. And on row 44, you should have ended with 404 double crochets. But all that information will be in the pattern. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Thank y'all so very much. I tried to make it as short as possible, but I really wanted y'all to be able to get this. Um, because it's a beautiful pattern, and I know y'all will enjoy making it. See y'all later. Bye-bye.